begin the whip around in the NFL. The Raiders tossing money around like they're already in Vegas. Today, the team signed guard Gabe Jackson to a five-year deal that's worth up to $56 million. Of course, days ago, they signed quarterback Derek Carr to a $125 million extension. What do you think this means for their star on defense, Khalil Mack, Tyler? I think it means he's in line for a very large payday, just like Derek Carr, just like Gabe Jackson. I like the move that the Raiders and Reggie McKenzie made, obviously locking up Carr. He seems to be a franchise quarterback. And when you have a franchise quarterback, you want to protect him. So I like the move, bringing in free agents on the offensive line, like Kalichi Osemele and Rodney Hudson. You drafted Gabe Jackson. Keep him as part of that interior. Pay him the money that he deserves. I like all that. But Khalil Mack, is arguably one of the three or four best defensive players in the entire NFL. And what's interesting about this, the guy he came into the very same draft class with back in 2013, Aaron Donald, he's in line for a significant contract with the Rams. And they are both looked at as the two most significant and talented young defensive studs in the NFL. So whichever one gets his deal first sets the market for the other. I know they play different positions. Mac, the more sexy position as a linebacker who can sack the quarterback from the edge. He's known as a pass rusher, but it's not like Aaron Donald isn't someone who can wreak havoc on your offensive game plan from the middle. But I think Khalil Mack is looking at something closer to Derek Carr than Gabe Jackson. We're talking $100 million, $100 plus million. And I think he's going to get it from the Raiders. It'll just be interesting to see which one of those guys, Donald or Mack, gets their money first and what that does for the other ones setting the market. Uh, maybe a little insight into that. ESPN's Ian Rappaport said that the Raiders will wait until next year to sign Mack to an extension. But do you see Khalil Mack, with having that information, looking at this season as, hey, I got to get my payday? <laughs> yeah, well, he's played every season to this point in his career. Like, it's his last, I need to prove for a payday. So I don't see any reason why he's going to slow down. I fully expect him to be near the league lead in sacks. I fully expect him to be one of the defensive players that is in line for defensive player of the year alongside of J.J. Watt and Aaron Donald. Those three, along with Von Miller, those four are probably the four best defensive players in the National Football League. So one day he is going to get that contract that says, with all the zeros and commas, I am one of the best players in the entire NFL. Number you know, the ones are so good. Go ahead. Three. The Raiders. <laughs> Mari wow. Cooper and Michael Crabtree. Yeah, I'll okay, you that. so okay. this is the list. Now we're talking about consistency. We're talking about guys coming in and making money. Amari Cooper came in, and the one thing they were saying across the board this guy looks like a pro already. He acts like a pro already. He talks like a pro. And then he goes out there and plays like a pro. And then there's rumor that he's gained a little bit of muscle mm -hmm. and that he's got faster, stronger. What was it? Derek Carr came out and said he got, a, he got some dog in him? Mm -hmm. Like that right there gets me excited. The quiet talk of the guy that's been making plays, Kay, we love some Mari Cooper These on the show. These two have together more catches than any duo in the league. Latavius Murray thinks Amari Cooper's going to the Hall of Fame. He Last thinks year. he's incredible. I said it. I said it a couple weeks ago. I said if he continues this and he has longevity on his side, he will be a Hall of Famer. And then Crabtree. Crabtree just quietly came back from the ACL and said, hey guys, remember me? Remember me with all the hype? I'm going to give you all these catches in eight TDs. He's making Plays look so routine that are difficult for every receiver. These guys put up over 2,100 yards. And another reason why I picked them a lot of this, when you're looking at this list, it's all about the quarterback, right? So you look at the Falcons, Matt Ryan. Look at the Steelers, Ben Roethlisberger. You look at the Raiders, Derek Carr, come on, man. Highest paid guy in the league. And they're getting better. You add Marshawn Lynch. That's going to be a benefit to the wide receivers because all of a sudden, if Marshawn Lynch catches a little bit of a rhythm, the defenses that are sitting there, linebackers saying, hey, guys, we got to get up. Line, the, the safeties and the cornerbacks, now they got to bring a little more pressure. They're stacking the box. Look at if I'm Amari Cooper and Michael Crabtree, I'm looking like this. It's time to eat. You crazy? You give me single coverage because you got to respect beast mode? This is going to mean what? They'll get more yards. They'll get more touchdowns. They'll have more receptions. I see a little Ronnie and Carl, and the reason I see it is that his tenacity to want to get better. And I see it in his pursuit of how he's trying to get to a player. I'm always observing the essence of him, how his, his stature of, of what he's thinking about, how he's looking on the sideline, how he's communicating to people. There is something spectacular when you see somebody going out trying to be their best. And when I watch that young man and when I watch him go out and trying to find ways 
to enhance his game, trying to find ways to win, trying to find ways to separate people from the, from the football. There is something that we all like about how Carl and how he goes around and tries to attack the game of football.